Obituaries are sponsored by Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Fair, Ray, and Perry Spencer Funeral Homes, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory. Funeral services for Mabel Case Fry are today at 2 at Ray Funeral Home. The family will receive friends one hour prior to services. Burial at Maidan Municipal Cemetery. Five announcements from Fair Funeral Home. Memorial services for Phyllis Walker Simpson are today at noon. Visitation one hour prior to services. Arrangements for Joel Fulp, 76, of Eden, Helen Rickman Schuff, 95, of Eden, Catherine McLeod, 71, of Eden, and Golem Hussein Gill, 82, of Danbury, are incomplete. Three announcements from Perry Spencer Funeral Homes. The family of Franklin David F.D. Brodnax will receive friends at Wesley Chapel United Methodist Church, Reedsville, today at 1230, with funeral services at 1 and interment in the church cemetery. The family of Claddy Lou Hillman will receive friends tomorrow at 2.30 at Hargett Funeral Services, Greensboro, with funeral services at 3. Charlotte May Schuff, 63, of Eden, died August 23rd. The family will receive visitors Sunday at 1.30 in Eden, with funeral services at 2, interment in Eden Garden Cemetery. Six announcements from Colonial Funeral Home. Graveside services for Josephine W. Wall are today at 11 at Delta United Methodist Church, where she was a member. Friends will be received one hour prior to services, interment in the church cemetery. Memorial services for Garnett Taylor Burke are today at 2 in Madison. Funeral services for Thomas Alva Stott are tomorrow at 2 at Horse Pasture Christian Church in Ridgeway, with interment in Stoneville Municipal Cemetery. The family will receive friends beginning at 11. James Jimmy Neal Martin, 79, of Stoneville, died August 24th. Funeral services are Sunday at 3 in Madison, with burial in Neal Family Cemetery, Blues Creek. The family will receive friends one hour prior to services. He was born in Forsyth County, was a retired mail carrier for the U.S. Postal Service. In his younger years, he was a modified race car driver, racing at Ace and Bowman Gray Speedways. Surviving are fiancé Shirley Caldwell of the home, stepsons David Reynolds and Ernestine, and Ray Reynolds and Holly. Stepdaughter, Wendy Hicks and David, ten-step grandchildren, five-step great-grandchildren, and best friends, Ronnie Ames, Kevin Brim, Mark Southern, and Benny Rowland. Vester Buck Hooker, 77, of Stoneville, died August 25th. There will be no formal services at this time. He was born in Stokes County and was a retiree of Glass Dynamics, Incorporated. Surviving are wife, Doris Lucille Bowman Hooker of the home, and brother, Richard Red Hooker. Amber Shelton Lawrence, 60, died August 23rd following complications from stomach cancer. A celebration of life will be held at Mount Pisgah United Methodist Church, Saturday, September 3rd at 2, with a reception in the Fellowship Hall. She ran her own business, A. Shelton Cleaning, and spent two decades as a Mary Kay consultant. Surviving parents, Tom and Agnes Shelton, sons, Nick and Corey Wagner, husband, Glenn Lawrence, and siblings, Camilla Pruitt and the Pruitt family, Tonda and Tom Shelton, Jr., and Hope Morgan and the Morgan family. In lieu of flowers, donations may be made to Strong Missions or to her church. Two announcements from Boone and Cook Funeral Home. Memorial services 
for Tony Francis Tullock Haynes. Are tomorrow at 11 at Leakesville Moravian Church with visitation one hour prior to services. Candy Dale Puckett, 54 of Madison, died August 12th. Arrangements are incomplete.